Hey guys, welcome to the Prime Slider widget tutorial. In today's video, we'll discuss the customizations of the general base slider widget. First of all, let's drag and drop the general base slider inside the page editor to start working with it. The default slider shows a full width frame having a clear background and on top of it displays the meta, title, button, description, social share options and two types of navigation indicators. Oh, and a scroll down option that takes the users to the next section of the page when clicked. Now, for the options, the first section called Layout lets you change a couple of things about the slider initially. For example, you can change the slider dimension by aspect ratio or custom width and height. Just hit the apply button to apply the new dimension. Just below, you can change the slider minimum height with a scroll bar. With the addition of viewport height and content max width options. There's an alignment option for the content of the slider here. Below are some switchers that you can turn on or off to show or hide certain elements from the slider. For instance, the subtitle, title, button, etc. Up next is the sliders section. Here, your slider items are listed in the form of boxes. You can add more, duplicate or close existing ones from here. Clicking on a slider item box expands the box and reveals the customization options inside. Here, the options are divided into the content and optional subsections. On the content part, you can change the subtitle, title, button text, link, and background. Before we continue, let's go inside the slider settings section and turn off autoplay. With this, the slider will not automatically change to the next item and we can better focus on customization. Now back inside the slider item, let's start with the subtitle text and work it down the rest. From the optional subsection, you can add a title link and customize the description or excerpt text. Alright, the background part of the slider is unique as it lets you select between color, image, video and YouTube integration directly. For this one, let's select image and from the new popped up image field, Choose an image from the media library to work with. Quite similarly, you can finish customizing the rest of the slides. Always check how the finished layout looks using the navigation arrows. Now go to the social icon section and here you can add a new social media for your slider like this. Then change the title, link and icon to finish. It has been added to the slider instantly as you finish. The scroll down section lets you customize the scroll down button animation duration, offset, button text and section ID. Skipping to the slider setting section, here you can customize some animation properties of the slider including loop, autoplay, pause on hover, animation speed etc. There's another animation effect available for general slider is the Ken Burns animation. The switcher is right below and you can turn it on to apply the effect. Ken Burns Reverse is also an option here. Now let's move to the style tab to customize the appearance of the slider. The first section gives you an overlay option and then divides into four subsections below. For the title part, you can change the title width over the canvas. Then change the title color and start working with the typography option to customize the font style. Typography lets you switch the font family, change the font size, weight, style, etc. So take your time to work on that font. Then you can move to the excerpt subsection to change the font color and customize the typography option. After that, go inside the button subsection and start with the border customization. 
First, let's select a solid border and adjust the border width. Also, we can edit the border radius fields to change the button border shape to something unique. Then go for the padding values and then adjust the margin to reposition the button. Next, you should go for the typography settings. And now you can go with the existing button icon style or if you want to customize it, turn on the icon custom style switcher and start customizing. For instance, let's turn up the icon background color to something bright. Then for the hover style, change the background and border color to red. And next, make the icon background white in color. And the button should look like this when hover. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Alright, next, let's go into the social icon section. First, change the icon color. Then add a solid border around them with a minimum border width. Change the border color to white as well. Set a high border radius value to make them round and then customize the padding to increase the area size. For hover, you can select red for both background and border just like before. Next, go inside the navigation section. Same as before, we are sticking with white for the arrow icon. Then go for the border, select solid border and a thin border width. The border color should be white as well. For hover, put white for the icon and red for the rest. Oh, and we are making the borders transparent for hover. Now back into the normal subsection. At the bottom part of the option, you will find the color options for the dots navigation. Let's customize that. And we have completely transformed the slider into a new concept. Just minimize the control panel to appreciate it. That's how you do it with the general slider widget. Okay, that's all for now. Hope this video helped. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to get updates on new tutorials and tips. Until then, stay safe and see you next time.